Pepper, excuse me. <laughs> I suddenly see a cat walking by. Um, hello. <laughs> Do you want to be on the show? Pepper decided she wanted to join us. She never gets on my desk. Oh, anyway, all right, so it's Tuesday morning. It's already starting weird for the live show. So uh, we'll wait just a second for it to get started on YouTube. It always, there's always this delay. That was funny. I just catch a, a tail out of the corner of my eye. All right, so it looks like it's starting taking its merry sweet time this morning I feel like playing the Jeopardy music right now because it's not starting very quickly hmm there it goes alrighty we got, we're going there. I'm sorry, I don't try to look like I put my nose up in the air, but I have to read through my bifocals. It's so funny to see yourself or hear yourself on these things. So. Okay, so you guys missed the whole part. When I first started, and it, it didn't show it, is Pepper jumped up behind me onto the desk, walked around, came back, and came over, and she sat there and looked at the screen, and it was like, um, excuse me? So that was, that was pretty funny. She, uh, she's never done that before, so that was something new. So, <coughs> all right, Joy is here. We'll let everybody else gather in and see uh, how many we uh, have today. We are finishing up the Popsicle album today, and then we are also going to be um, looking more at the In Suspense, which is closer to being done. I'm going to be working on the album part um, today, and uh, we'll go. We'll uh, hopefully be starting that on Friday, as long as I can uh, get the pattern written, finish getting the pattern written on Wednesday and Thursday. All right, so we got Deborah's here. So Australia is represented, <laughs> so we'll see um, how many more we get here in just the next couple of minutes before we go ahead and get started. Lois is here. So we've got the sheriffs, our sheriffs and the deputy here, both here. So <laughs> we're good to go in that regard. Alrighty, we'll give it a few more minutes. We get more people. I know not everybody chimes in on the chat, so uh, we'll just let the, the numbers get up a little bit higher and then we'll um, move forward from there. So we're going to be just um, decorating pages and such on the um, Popsicle album today. It's been kind of a good little quick, fun filler album. Um, I must apologize. I just dawned on me this morning that. I need to get the um, downloadable supply cutting list for this one um, together and it just I've been working on getting some other things done and it just totally went um, kind of slipped off the table so I will make sure to get that up um, today so um, well I'll have that supply list later on this afternoon put up We'll give it just a couple more minutes and then we'll go ahead and get get rolling on this so yeah we um we got this we got the album itself started um this last at last class on friday and then today we're going to decorate the pages um inside so these all have tags. I got two tags in them. So we'll get that all decorated. So there's the little popsicle with its popsicle stick and the little wrapper box that just slips inside. So we can decorate the outside of this as well. So 
I did give on the first one I did give all the dimensions so some of you probably wrote those down and um, got started on it but I will also be then um, putting those together I had a few things going on this weekend that that um, again it just kind of uh, fell off the, the uh, table a bit and I apologize for that <coughs> so Jane made two of them over the weekend good Oh, Deborah, I just can't believe that you get up at 3 a.m. to watch. <laughs> I'd be watching the video. I'm not that exciting in person, so. That's just, um, yeah, wow. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so what I want to show real quick first is the In Suspense. Um, now, this is the steampunk shabby version and then there's also going to be a fairy version. Now we'll be making the fairy version in class um, when we start that on Friday. So, um, but I'm really happy with how it's coming out. It's, it's very funny, as Joy can attest to. At one point, I was ready to scrap this project and do it completely differently. And then I just added these little um, elements onto these front dowels. And it kind of changed how it looked to me. And now I'm just... It's easiest to show it this way rather than flipping the. Um, so here's what it's looking so far. My album's going to come down in and set inside um, that suspended. See, this is it's like a swing. <laughs> it's like a porch swing. It, it just it's totally suspended by the chains, and so your album will slip down and set inside there. There's a there's a hole up here on the top for it to slide down into. And then we've got some metal stuff on that very front. It's the details that I get into. Um, and then I, whoops, I don't have that attached down yet. Um, then there's going to be some, um, th those wings that I had showed, the metal wings and stuff will go up here at the top. Or it might go on the album cover. I'm still working on, the album is going to have kind of um, a corseted looking front to it so we'll see because so I'll either put the wings in the clock the metal Tim Holtz pieces on the the um, album or they will go um, up here on the the upper thing up there now this is a new graphic 45 die that I'm going to get a, um, a supply of those in um, so that you can order those so I'll be putting those up I should I'm hoping to have the main the shabby paper and those dies up today. I should be able by later tonight. And then I'm still finishing up the fairy paper so that I can get that one up soon. And then I'm also going to have, um, I'm starting to do some basic stuff. So I'm gonna have a basics neutrals and a basic accent color, colors that will go with both this version and the fairy version, or they can go with any other projects. And as I put out these neutrals or these colors, they will always be different, but they can, as you know, I kind of have a palette um, with my papers. So these papers will mix and match with any of my um, uh, collections. So, but anyway, I'm super happy with how this is coming out. It, again, it always looks much bigger on screen than it actually is. This is really not much larger than any of the um, Maple Street houses and such, but I'm super happy with it. I think it has that kind of shabby, elegant feel that I was that I was going for. So the next one is supposed to be more masculine. So, um, but I'm I'm excited about it. The there are a handful still of this version kit. And then there's um, a few more than that of the fairy version kit. And as I said, the fairy version kit is what we will be working on um, in class. I want to show you the papers um, so that you can have an idea of what those look like um, when they go up later today. Um, one last thing to while I get those out is the... Um, oh, here, let me show you this real quick. Um, the dies that I used on, the, one last thing though before I go back, let me, I bounce around a little bit too much. I also have a sale going on for um, the 4th of July 
or yesterday was Canada Day for those of you in Canada. Happy Canada Day, a day late. Um, but 4th of July is, is on <coughs> Thursday. I do have a sale on the patterns and papers, um, the current ones, um, through Sunday. Um, all patterns are 30% off. Patterns and video tutorials are 30% off and all of the papers are 15% off. Now, the sale will not include the new paper. Well, yeah, the new papers will be included, but the new pattern is not included um, for this under that 30% off sale. Um, but the new papers, I'll go ahead and put those under it. So, um, uh, but the, the papers and the um, patterns are on sale um, right now. So. Um, also then, this is the, the die that I used on the front. And again, I'm going to get these in from Graphic 45 so that if you want one of these, um, you can get those. And then the other one I'm using, and I am not sure if this one's still available from Spellbinders or not. It's one we've used um, many times in the past, and I've had these available in the past. I think I still have one available, um, but I've had these available in the past. We use these on the transportation series, um, and then we've used them on a few projects since then. This is the um, it's a Spellbinders, a Gilded Life, which I know is not with Spellbinders anymore. Um, and this was something crown. It doesn't say what it's called. Um, if anybody can recall what this one was called. Um, that would be awesome, but I don't. It doesn't say on here. It's G L L D zero zero one is the number, and I will check to find out if these are still available. And if so, I will get some in for people to order. Um. So um, I will, as I said, I have one of these. It's not up right now, but I know I I went and checked this morning, and I have one of these still available. And so I will check on the the status if I can get more of these. And then I will be ordering these to have available so that you can um, get those. And if anybody's interested, they have three different um, dies. If anybody's interested in the other ones, you know, let me know because I can order those in as well. Um, so you can but, um, get those. So since this is time is part of the kind of theme of this, this um, steampunk one, um, I have shown some of these papers already. As I said, all I have is I have to get the borders on these and then finish up the few journal cards. And I may, in um, before we do the, the album itself, I may do some cut aparts and that will be a bonus item that will be added if you get this paper. And this paper will be available a la carte. Um, so again, it's, you know, it's subtle in terms of it's steampunk, it's not smacking you over the face and I'm not real into those. Um, the images of like you know the corsets and the weird things <laughs> um, so um, it's mainly just clock images and and gears and stuff so and it's there's a lot of blue in this one Lois so you may like this <laughs> um, and that's upside down these are all upside down <laughs> lots of lace Florals. And as I said, I'll have the album um, guts done shortly. Um, hopefully, I'll have that to where you can see that on Friday, if not next Tuesday. As long as um, my family cooperates. And there's no massive crisis that happened in the next few days that require mom. I had to go up and take care of something for Trevor's car yesterday, so I lost a chunk of time yesterday. I've had to do some stuff for my mom. Oh, it gets a little crazy. So then we have some accent type papers that go along with it. It's always nice to have some kind of a little more neutral feel feeling stuff. And then an all over kind of dark lace. So that's what I've got for the, the shabby version. Those of you who ordered the shabby steampunk papers or ordered this full set of all of the, the steampunk papers, once these are available, they will be in your account. 
the fairy stuff for this um, are a little brighter than some of the fairy ones that I've done. Um, so these are, are fun, and of course I've got dragonflies and butterflies and fairy stuff in there. There's my favorite unicorn. I've been using him a bit. Of course, obviously, I have to have a stripe. And there's the polka dot for joy. And then some an all-over patterns. Some are soft, some are bright. So that's what I've got done so far on the fairy. I still have a few more to do um, on that. In terms of, like... The neutrals and colors, here's some of the neutrals, and again, these can be used with any collection. Um, so this is something that's very versatile to kind of stretch a collection if you have a very involved book, but don't necessarily want two paper collections. These will help kind of stretch a little bit by having these um, neutrals that will work with just about anything. I'm trying to keep them kind of very neutral in terms of their colors. Some have some blue greens, some have some pinks um, kind of in the background, but they are very um, neutral so they'll work with tons of different stuff and they kind of fit with my kind of paper collection style. Now these are some wood ones. I'm going to have some other ones that are in this kind of neutral um, collection, a dark blue. Uh, very violet and it's very washed out on uh, camera and the pink and then kind of a yellow tone and I'm gonna have then five that are non wood colors but these coordinate with both um, collections and they'll coordinate great in a great way with um, other collections that I have as well so anyway that just kind of give you a little bit of a preview for um, for um, Friday so um, all right I have to send Trevor something hang on two seconds I apologize for the interruption Two more seconds. Yeah. I swear he just he just knows how to interrupt a show, whether it's in person or <laughs> It doesn't have a name yet, Deborah, um, but I will announce it over on Paper Doodles when I have it named and available. It's not up yet, so um, you won't you won't find it there yet. So um, yeah, so um, I think. What I called it, what I called the, the first one is it was Steampunk, Steampunk Collection Victorian. So this one will probably be similar to that in its Steampunk Collection. Um, shabby or, actually I'm just going to call it Steampunk Shabby and then it'll have a name and it has something to do with time. I have it written down 
here somewhere, but it will be, it'll say Steampunk Collection Shabby, and then the name of the collection, which has something to do with time. I just don't want to deviate too far from what I did on the first one, and then the third one coming up will be much more of a masculine feel to it. <coughs> so, and the fairy one, I don't have a name yet. All right, does anybody have any other questions? As I said, I will have the papers up, hopefully today. I will have the um, dies up so that I can get those ordered this week. Um, and then I will also be, I, I should, the pattern should be available for the project, not the album yet, but for the project on Friday so that we can get started. And then, um, um, Marcy, I'm sorry you missed that. Um, I mentioned earlier, I don't have uh, that slipped off of my radar. Um, I had some things, some fires that I've been putting out over the weekend and stuff, and that slipped off my radar. Um, and I'll be putting up that up later this afternoon. So, um, for, for this, the Popsicle album, I will be getting a cutting guide and supply list up later this afternoon. Um, and I apologize, excuse me, on that, that I did not get that done on Saturday as I anticipated. The weekends get a little crazy. We go over to my mother-in-law's a lot on the weekends, and that is a full half a day to go all the way over to West Seattle and back. And it just, I kind of lose a day of the weekend. And then my husband's still trying to finish our, putting the, the um, flooring down in our upstairs. And when you have um, OCD, um, this has been an, ex an, an engineer with OCD, this has been an exercise in pushing him to absolutely to the max because you know there's it, this is a um it's a really nice laminate floor but that means there's like 10 different boards and so then it's like okay he doesn't want that board next to that board or that board next to that board and it's like okay and the seams is you know it creating a pattern you know he and he's fighting against his ocd to try to do this so it's been and then, of course, because we all have this Denison luck that nothing goes smoothly the first time. You know, he'll try cutting something and it'll it'll either break or it'll cut crooked or something won't line up. And it's like spanning the entire upstairs from one corner to the next. The only room that's not getting it is my studio and two of the bedrooms. The rest is, and they're all connected and they're all going, it's going down a hall and across a hall and into another room. And you can't have less than two inches and in the lengthwise and sh shorter than a foot at the other and so he's had to do this engineering masterpiece to make sure that and it's all working but he's he's down to the like the last four feet in the bathroom and it's just like oh my goodness and it's just been absolutely insanity but yeah so that that was the weekend uh. So anyway, yeah, that was far more information than for the question that you asked, so I'm sorry for that. So, alrighty, let's go ahead and get rolling. So, okay, so I have pulled out Again, out of my stash. I have more of the paper collection, too, but I, I kind of wanted to stick to this. Now, I just pulled some bright colored stuff. A lot of it's bow bunny. Some other. This is just stash pieces that I have. Some purple, some pink, some stuff that just I have one, onesies of. So, for using it for other things, doesn't really um, work. So. Or like I said, for kit stuff and things like that, it doesn't doesn't fly very well. So. Okay, so then I have different papers that I can put on my different 
pages. We can also on to the cover, the wrapper cover. I'm thinking this might be kind of fun to put a piece of this because this is cute um, onto the cover. And maybe we can put some of the the flowers. And this was like this was cute. It had some sweet stuff and things like that. It was the right color combination. So. Let's do the pages first and then we'll come back and do the cover, I think, uh, towards the end. See, something like these are pretty flat. This is ancient. This is from 2011. <laughs> I would never, I wouldn't trust the sticky on these when they're that old. I'd probably want to add some glue to it, but I thought it's got this cute little frame. That might be cute to have a little picture back behind there. But these are relatively flat little pieces. It says Dream Big on it. Put some of these little stars. Easy peasy. I'm doing, I'm going for real basic and simple. You know, we don't have, we always get, I tend to, or I shouldn't say we, I should say I tend to do um, a little too, I'll have to go back and put some glue on these because they're not going to stay with that old adhesive on there, but just giving it something cute little, and then I'll, I'll have a little photo that can go um, down into there, so. All right, so this first one we can do. I have five different colors, so we can pull whichever ones we want. We can coordinate with what color tags, or we can go with something different. I think this one's cute with this little heart on there. And put that little heart on there. So the cutting the, the mats for these is four and a quarter by four and three quarters. And the four and a quarter is the height this way. No, we're do, we just did the cover of this. I was talking about de we'll decorate the cover of the, the wrapper in a few minutes. So yeah, we did the cover. That was that fast there. there. Enjoy. <laughs> And it's, did I, I did just do, I'm going to resist my urge. I'm just going to cover the white edge. I'm not really inking other than the edge itself. I know Joy. Joy says she doesn't have many bright colors. Most of hers is, is vintage stuff. You know, I don't have a lot of truly bright like this uh, myself. So that, I think that looks cute there. So let's put that on. go through let's just go through and mat all of these and then once we have everything matted we can go make some little um, tabs and stuff for our our um, tags okay so we're gonna need one so we did one one two three four five six seven more of those so let's just go ahead and cut from these and again, they're four and a quarter tall by four and three quarters wide. So this bright lemonade kind of yellow. I'll look on the back and see if there's something on the back that I like. And then I can decide where I want these. And this is um, Bo Bunny's Believe from a few years back. This is from 2016. 
So it's possible if this is one that you're interested in, you may still be able to find it somewhere. I know I had some, <coughs> somewhere I have some embellishments that coordinate with this collection, but I could not find them. And I'll find them, of course, now that I've got this done, I'll probably find them. So, because that's just how things work. So it gives me, let's see, one, two, three, four. How cute is that with the little butterflies? So that's four. I'll put that in between them so you can see. Okay, so there's four. And then let's see of the other papers. I have that stripe is really cute. Actually, I like that little thing down there, so I'll do another one of those. This pink is cute. Polka dots. Oh, I like these. Oh, that's cute. And I also like that. So that gives me my seven. So let's go with two off of that one and make sure there's another one on the one that I'm like done in for. So, okay. Let's see. That little sun is cute, but I also like the flowers. But I don't know if the flowers will fit. Hmm. I think I'm going to do the sun piece instead. Because the flowers are cute, but they're a little big for what we need. Because the sun fits kind of on there perfectly. So four and three quarters. Gives me five. And then I like this for the other side. So six. So that gives us a nice little collection. So we can have those. So then we're going to decide which one we want, where. That goes there. That one goes there. That's nice and easy peasy. Okay, again, I'll just knock the white off the edge. I do have a quick question 
for all y'all. Um, God, I sound like I'm like from. You can tell I watched The Bachelor last night, listening to to Hannah with from Alabama, and then I start talking like I'm from the South. Um, okay, so we're um, you know we're starting the the in suspense. Would you prefer that I did? Since there's so many of you already have the shabby, the shabby um, steampunk, would you all prefer that I did the steampunk version, and then did the, and then um, put the fairy version together um, separately, or is it okay that I'm doing the fairy version in class? You know, I do know that so many of you have the steampunk version already. So see how quick this can be just with this fun, cute paper. I think I like it. I think this one against the purple. Ooh, that looks so cute. I mean, obviously, I'm going to talk to you about the uh, steampunk version while we're doing it, and it's done exactly the same way. It's kind of like the 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 way with the. Um, uh, the pirate ship you know if you can do the the steampunk version then uh, or if you can do the fairy version the steampunk version is less mixed media so okay you're okay with uh, Deborah's okay with doing the fairy so nobody else is answering I know some of you are probably like going, what's with all this fairy stuff? But, you know, everybody seems to really like the fairy stuff. It's kind of that, you know, that little other world that we all kind of wish we could be in. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's about. I don't know. I do have some houses planned coming up as well. I have to look at, I think we're getting pretty close in terms of projects that I'm actually going to be doing on the live show caught up. I think we're really close. So then I can get started on some other stuff that I'm planning with some of the buildings and houses. Um, Nettie, I will, um, I, I, I think you have the, um, I can tell you in like three seconds, so excuse me for this, so I just don't want to be confused, because I have a list here, so I can tell you super fast here, it'll just take two seconds to answer, oops, I can't do that, I took that, yeah. I don't need to. Of course, I took off my the little thing so I could tell her quickly. I pulled off my accidentally pulled off my little notebook there. Okay, this is I thought this was gonna be really super quick. Sorry, 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 sorry. I have a list. Where's it at? Yeah, Nettie, you do have the steampunk one. You have the steampunk set. There, are, There's, like, less than a handful of you actually have the uh, fairy version.
Well, that's what I was thinking, um, Marcy. Many times, if, if you recall over the years, that's what I will do. Whichever version of the project itself I do in class, I do the other version of the album. So that's what I was thinking is I would do the steampunk album in class after we do the the um, uh, the the three D part of it. Do the fairy, and then the album is the steampunk in class, and I'll do the fairy album separately. Yes, Nettie, you are Nettie. You are always so sweet to me, and I really thank you for that. You've you've always been super supportive. There's so many of you, actually, pretty much those of you who are still around have always been super supportive of me. Those those negative Nellies um, have left. <laughs> so um, I just all of y'all have no absolutely no idea of what all of the support you guys have given me over the years means to me. You honestly can't know how important each and every one of you is to me, honestly. So, I mean, I wish these projects on, on you know, on the online show didn't take us all. I mean, if I had to, I can get one done in a day. If it's like for a deadline for something like, you know, CHA or something, I can get something done in a day. It takes a lot longer when I'm having every step of the way, having to photograph it so that I can write the pattern. So that takes always longer. Um, so if I had to, I could get the fairy one done here by next week if, if I needed to. Um, but because on the fairy one, I'm going to be having a little bit more not a lot more but more mixed media stuff on it than this one which basically the basic one it's kind of like with the pirate ship I did the pirate ship and then I embellished it how it was done for the pirate ship so it's the same with this I, this one's got some embellishment on it but then it's even further embellished for um, the fairy one so if that makes any sense all right, so I've got my little mats all on there, super fast, super quick. Just makes for real cute. You can, you know, what would be really cute in here is if you have one of those um, cameras that takes the tiny little Polaroids, and those fit perfectly in here. So um, on these these sheets, and then you can actually have, you know, the four by sixes on the tags that fit inside, but you know on here or you can just add some little embellishment stuff onto these as well um, uh, these are just so cute so let me these are the leftover part tag parts and I didn't round those we kind of just tossed those in at the last minute on class on the other night the other day on Friday night <coughs> and I'm just rounding at one end <coughs> But we can also make another strip of, <coughs> I think I'm going to do that. I have four different colors. I'm going to color, cut another strip so that it, each pocket is going to have four tags in it. And the larger tags are six and three quarters, four and a quarter by six and three quarters. And then the smaller one says what's ever left over, so that would make it what, five and a quarter. I love this, this, I'm never, you know, orange is one of those colors, I'm either really into it or not, and this is what, I'm really into this kind of citrusy orange, kind of tangerine orange right now, and I'm not sure why, <laughs> but I am. The, this, um, the Graphic 45 clock die, I'm super excited about their dies. Because um, if you get all three of them, and I, 
if people are interested, I'll get all three of them. Because then with all three of them, you I, I don't have all three of them yet. Um, but you get all their tags sizes too. Because with this die here, you get this square die. Um, the taller one has all sorts of flowers. And it's the tall die. And then the third one has the one that's a little narrower than this, but this high. And then it's got the little one on it. So uh, I think... Either it's the big one and the little one, or the regular and the little one. But then you have four different tag sizes too, which is also nice to have. Okay, so what did I say these were? It was six and three quarters, correct? Yes. So if I do six and three quarters, that leaves me with five and a quarter. So. Thank you, Scrap Mary. I don't know Italian, but <laughs> welcome. I barely can do English. But like I said, um, I will get those dies in if people um, are interested. If you already have them, obviously I don't need to get them in. Um, but if you are interested, I definitely will get some in. Okay, so I'm going to nope, half inch round the corners. Oh, Scrap Mary, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're saying. Alright, so this front one, I like having the pink and the orange with that. So then with this guy... So that has, oh, I gotta do this one. Let's make sure I can get all four in there. I can. I think I like green. I might narrow the smaller ones down so that it's not all four of them at that same width. I think I'm going to do that with all of these guys. These little ones, shrink them down width-wise because it's not going to fit a 4 by 6 picture anyway. So if I shrink them down to four inches wide, or three and three quarters, um, they'll, they'll fit better in the pocket. So I'm just going to take half an inch of width off of them. I think it's ironic. These days, we're so worried about fitting four by six, and yet people can print their pictures into pretty much any size that they want. And yet, when I first started 10 years ago, we really didn't pay attention to what size we made our tags. We just made the tags the size that we wanted for our albums. And in those days, everybody was still going and getting their pictures printed, and they were getting 4 by 6 prints and stuff like that. So I just find it rather humorous that I, I worry about it so much more now than I did back in the old days. The clock papers are ones that are coming out within the next day or so. Hopefully later today, Nettie. Those are the steam for the steampunk. Actually, you're getting those. You don't have to. Per well, no, you do. They're not.
part of the kit itself. Um, but they will be up later today. So those are um, the clock ones are part are what we're using for the steampunk. All right. So this one, I think I have pink. I think I want to switch that out. And put the green up here. Oh, that fits so much better when I'm not trying to cram everything all in. And I like visually how that looks better with the smaller one. Okay, so maybe we'll do the orange. That's a pink over here. I like the purple with that. Do the green. Okay. Here. Let's do the green on this side. With the purple little one. over on this side, and do the purple over on this side, I mean, the colors all are so fun and they just go together because they're bright, but I get a little weird about being picky about my compost and stuff. So, so we've got all our little tags to put in there. So now we're ready to do just a little bit, maybe some a little embellishment to those um, as well. Um, I was trying to think, what was I? I had an idea for some little tags on these. I'm trying to get, okay, so when this is closed, okay, on the large ones, we really can't do um, much of a, a tag itself because of the length of the the, um, the larger tags come kind of right out. As you can see, they come out to the edge. So, but these little ones, we can add some little um, tags onto those. So I'm just trying to think of what something that could be pretty kind of cute on there. Um, I think that there's some sort of like. I had an idea the other day and I can't remember what it was. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We could do just even just some little circles because picking up on the polka dot kind of circles and we got polka dot paper. So let's just do some little circle stuff with that. We just do some old standby favorites. I'm just getting a one inch circle and then um, the little six pointed flower. These are Oh yeah, that die is Petite Monarch um, from A Gilded Life. It's a, um, thank you, Joy, for looking that up. Let's pull in some of this little scrabble dabble bits and pieces.
I don't know, this is too predictable. I want to do something a little different. Yeah, I know this is not working for me. These I want to do something a little more fun, a little more funky. So I'm gonna cut out my little half inch circle. I'm gonna cut a little three-quarter inch strip. I'm going to make it a one inch strip. I like two inches. And I'm going to fold this in half. I know it's been such a, a while since I've done anything on this bright. I need my little sticking out. Okay, so I want this thing to be like a quarter of an inch in. So I'm putting the edge of that sticking out a quarter of an inch in so that when I slip this then inside here, centered so I know that I'm centered so I don't want to be able to see the whole thing but I'm going to make a little tick mark of where the center is dee -dee 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 -dee. so so I've got a quarter of inch for the fold and I've got it centered with the center point mark so that when I slip this in there I can put that little mark at the center and then back it off to where you don't see the green paper. And I probably shouldn't have done that with two layers. My poor little punch is not wanting to do two layers. Oh, there it went. Okay, so I got my little, so it gives me a little window. So then I'm gonna have it to where it's got a little, a little half circle. different tag. I just didn't want to do this basic. So on one side I'll only go halfway up and the other side I'll go all the way. So that gives a cute little tag so that when it's in there then you see the other color back behind as well and then I can just take some and a little piece of this So that gives a cute little doodad on there. So again, I'm going to put this a quarter of an inch in from my fold center it so then I can use that to slip it inside here center my little mark
see, and then I can also put this one on there. Like so, it kind of I think goes kind of tight. That way, you know which ones go. They go on this side, so it's the same. The same. I just dawned on me that it's that same paper. I uh, didn't register that it was this purple paper. Well, maybe we'll do that. That way, if the, everything gets pulled out, you know which one it goes on. But this one's gonna go flush. That one's hanging out. This one's gonna go on there flush. Just adds a little detail to it. Mm -hmm. Just trying to decide on something on that. A little black. Is that a stripe? This collection. You know me. I gotta do my stripes. This is cute. Okay, I'm going to cut. Quarter inch strip of this. This piece I cut is like three, no, dead on three inches. So there, we've just collaged on that little bit, and I like that. Kind of fits with the fun and funky theme by doing something a little cute, cute like that. All right, so the next one that has oh, we used that one up. Is that has. That was this, so we can again still use this paper. And I cut those one inch by two inches. Oops. Well, hello. Let's just make that a mess. There we go. That little arrow thing that I want that on both of them. So, fold those in half. Yeah, the, I agree, Nettie. It's, the bright stuff is fun on occasion for something like this, but it's every time I ever try to do bright, um, it tends to go a little more vintage. I mean, even the bright fairy stuff that I just showed you a little earlier, this is bright, but it still has that vintage feel, even with the bright tones in it. You know, and on the Mystery Book Club, when I did some bright ones for those, um, again, they were um, tend to, to more lean towards that vintage feel or complex. I like to call it complex colors rather than necessarily vintage. Um, I 
Um, <coughs> but I, I would agree. I tend to lean that direction myself. Um, it's gotten more challenging with, like, American crafts. Stuff tends to go more towards that brighter tone stuff. But Bunny is about the only one that that does some bright stuff that still has kind of some of the elements that are a little bit more vintagey. And I'm just waiting because since American Crafts bought them, I'm just waiting till they become more like an American Crafts look. Because um, American Crafts stuff all tends to look alike. And I don't know. <clears throat> all of you, <clears throat> all of my customers tend to be more in that the look kind of the stuff that I like and I don't know why I don't know maybe there is this huge market of people that do like that brighter stuff um, I just and they just don't you know aren't customers of mine because um, every time I've tried to do that kind of look um, it ha those have been my lowest selling projects when I've done those so I you know I, I'm not saying that in any way shape or form to knock American Crafts because they're a very successful company um, it's just I have found for me it's just not as successful of projects products for projects so okay so this one I did high so this one I'm gonna do low And then I look at some of the, you know, the European companies that are coming in that have that more, that vintage flavor, um, and how popular they are. So I just, I don't know. I think some of the other companies are just totally missing the mark. So there's the little guy. So I did it low, so then I'll do high. The one in the bright colors that I'm, to be honest, completely flabbergasted and I never thought I'd see it, ever, is the Graphic 45 one. <laughs> but I also think that was them also, you know, giving in to the, the, um, the look of 182D Brights. I doubt if you'll see another one from them that bright again. Um, but it is it is quite cool. I have it. See, I think those look fun. So those little tag things. So there's that page. And by doing them out of the pa paper that I've matted, then you know it when you know somebody goes through and they pull all the tags out. Then you it makes it easy for you to be able to put them back in. You just match the little square. So this one will be the yellow. We'll do just a few more of these and then I'll we'll do the cover thing so we don't miss doing that.
I'm going to have these little half inch polka dots all over my house now. This poor little punch needs a uh, needs some sharpening. <laughs> All right, so that one's low, so this one's high. We'll do this to, for another nine minutes and then we'll switch over to the, the bag cover. See, this would be fun though with some pool pictures or summer, summery stuff. Um, but yeah, I would agree the more muted tones and stuff don't fight with your pictures, but it also depends on your, the subject of your photos. I put the brighter part on the back, but it's fine. But when you've got something that's like a little bit more graphic like this, doing these fun little kind of graphic type of tags kind of fits thematically with this kind of fun little book. So, okay, so we've got this orange, which is this guy. And then that one, I'm going to have to pull some paper out for that uh, because that's the other side of what I used back here, which was the blue. Let me see if I've got any of that little blue stuff. I'll have to pull some out. All right, so <coughs> let's <coughs> go ahead and cut these. I want that little splotchy stuff on there. Now here's the blue. I can still do it with these. Except they're turned the wrong way for that. Because they're gonna the hearts are gonna go that way, so I need the hearts going the other way. Let's go ahead and get this cut. Hold on. Yeah. And those hearts, where they at? So if I want the hearts going this way, so I'd cut a one inch strip and that still leaves me the flowers or something else. So 
ones for there so we can do them both at the same time. Yeah, I mean, the bright colors fit for this. This would look kind of odd with it being a Popsicle album. Would be odd done in, like, vintage. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, it, it's appropriate for whatever this, the subject of the album is. Poor little punch. And I don't have another half inch one, I don't think. I think I will find it one a half inch. Yeah, I have a five eighths. It's the only half inch one I got, so we're just gonna have to nurse it along. Yeah, no, I know how to sharpen it. It's just a matter of I just I need to do it. I just don't have any aluminum foil up here, but I need it needs to be sharpened. Is the problem with it? But that's how you can sharpen them: is you just punch some aluminum foil and it'll sharpen all your edges. And it may just be really tired. Yeah, I've had it forever. And as you all know, I do quite a bit of stuff. <laughs> at that tip it just doesn't want to go all the way through poor thing now we'll go ahead and get all these finished because I think we're gonna have it all done and we'll have the album done in two classes Okay, so that one back there, that was up, so this one goes down. It's so funny, I've been sitting here while I'm doing this and I'm thinking, I'm like going, dang, I really want to work on the fairy version. Maybe I should just get the fairy version done and we do this steampunk version again in class. And I'm like going, it's coming up on Friday. You can wait till Friday and you, then you'll make it. 
I just, I see it so in my head, and it's like, I just want you guys all to see it too. Bye, Lilybug. Thank you for coming in. This fuchsia color is one of my favorite colors, and having that with that that orange is just like singing. It's like, yes, I love it. <laughs> All right, let's do another polka dot. just having cutting issues today <laughs> so, obviously how will you know how to make the steam fork shirt because I'm going to talk you through the whole thing because I have the sample ready to go so with the steampunk version it's done and I can just show you this is what paper that and you're going to apply it the exact same way so just like I've always not done all versions on the live show did you were you here in the beginning Eddie when I showed it so because the steampunk one will be done excuse me so then you'll be able to see and I'm doing the ex the construction is the same for both versions it's just the embellishment and so you'll be I'll be able to tell you, you know you know which which papers I'm using that sort of thing so um, I'm still here I didn't go anywhere I didn't have any blips. Oh, for a second I was gone? Hmm. That was weird. I don't know why. So we just have a couple more to do. One, two, three. Oh, perfect. There's all those guys. Let's get the rest of them all cut. Then we can just put them on and then we'll do the wrapper cover. We should have enough time. One with the white splotches, one with pink splotches.
all those guys cut. Blues, this. Now you can get your scoreboard out and score these, but they're small enough that I'm just folding them in half. <laughs> I just look up and then he's like, I am old. <laughs> done otherwise I'd go get some foil. I'm so close to being done. And I don't want to do these single layer, which would probably would still punch, because if I do them single layer, they won't line up. Alright, I'll give you a break, you poor little thing. Well, I'm this uh, next year. I turn 60 myself. So, and I just look in the mirror and go, "Wait a minute, when did this happen?" <laughs> so, it's like, holy smokes! I was like, um, a couple of months ago, I went to let's see. So this one's high. So this one's low. Um, I went to. We were in Spokane for a hockey game. And I have a friend from high school, actually from long before high school, that I've, I got to visit. And that was so much fun. But it was just like, oh my God, I have known you for over 50 years. <laughs> we met when we were seven up in Anchorage. And it's like, how bizarre. <laughs> And I'm like going, oh my goodness, 
I've known you for 50 some odd years. 52 years. It was just crazy. Crazy. It just, it, you know, when people say time really does go by fast, and it, it's scary. It does. You know, having my nephew here this, this, um, this last week, just, you know, flying through with his little two-year-old. And I'm like, going, oh my God, it's vivid in my head when Cameron was born. And then seeing this little boy of his, and I'm like going, you know, A, you were that tiny. And he's, you know, he's now 32. I, I vividly remember when you were that little. And I remember when my own kids were that little. And it seems like it was yesterday. And it's like, oh my goodness. It goes so quickly. Put in my pieces so I can assemble quicker. I love the black and white up against this braids too. I think it's a fun combo. I don't know if I could totally do this on a steady diet, but it sure is fun for that occasional project. I think I might have to be breaking down and getting some new tinny scissors. Okay, so this one is high because that one's low. Now, that's just a weird thing that I, you know, I'm, I'm creating that pattern of the high and low. Um, you obviously don't have to do that. It's just my little weird little idiosyncrasy. I'm into those weird kind of things. So. See, we'll have this project as a we're gonna do super simple on the cover too, so we'll be done with this project in its entirety, which excites me. Last one. And that one was high, so this one is low. Well, good. Jane, I'm glad you will be considered cool. You guys are all talking about all this stuff of being old and what you 
office supply. Now they don't even teach kids cursive. I know everybody took like things like shorthand and you took typing classes and stuff like that. Now they don't even teach them cursive. They can't even sign their names. We have an entire generation that can't not sign their names. It's sad. <laughs> All right, so there the album itself is done. There's a fun, funky, cute little tags that I think just add just a little bit of detail. Super simple album, um, but just those cute little tags just add a little detail. Um, and so then we've got just the really fun little cover on there. I think it wants something black and white polka dot stuff on there too so a little bit see I shouldn't have done the cover so fast I did that cover too soon so let's see if I'm right in my thinking that the um, sticky is um, weak. Of course now it'll stick down probably hard. Sticky stuck. I delaminated my flower, but I can glue it back on, so that's fine. Alright. Alright, I just wanted that little bit of polka dots on there. Yeah, I got over exuberant with the uh, doing it quick before I planned out what else I was doing. <laughs> so I can glue this guy back on. That ties in a little bit better with what's going on on the inside, so I'm happy with that. All right, so let's go ahead and pull our cover together. So I'm going to do kind of a matting with this since it has the white background. And I can do this kind of, let's see, four and a quarter by seven. to glue this back together because he's kind of coming apart. If anybody of you have ever questioned that whole thing where I talk about that adhesives deteriorate, here's some examples when you pull out some of your older, this is from 2012, when you pull out, I mean this is not that long, but when you pull out some of your older embellishments and things and they, uh, adhesives on them are coming apart so if you've ever questioned when I've said you know be careful with your your uh, adhesives so 
So I think this little so sweet thing will be cute right there. So so sweet and laugh. So it pulls in the green and the pink. Guess we kind of need to attach this down first. Let me just run my whoops, just on the edge, tiny bit. Oh, Nettie, please do not, do not censor yourself and try and say you need to be quieter. I absolutely love it when people are t chatty in the chat. You do not have to stay quiet. We absolutely love hearing from anybody. Yeah, any adhesives has the potential to dry out. So you always, the adhesives are quick to attach, but you always want to go in and add in um, more. Uh, add in some glue, because the glue dries, but it doesn't deteriorate, deteriorate at the same kind of pace in the same way that a, um, the adhesives do. The adhesives dry out, and when they dry out, they um, they fall apart. That's why, you know, years ago, people were using um, hot glue. And I was like going, don't do that, people. Don't do it. So like these, I mean, I can use the adhesive, but I'm going to run a little strip of glue down the middle as well. And then use the so sweet. So there's a cute little fun cover. So just using, you know, just some random, it wasn't the same collections, it was just some bright colored stuff that I happened to still have in my stash. Um, didn't use the brads or the buttons, but um, I think I'll take this guy and I'm going to do this just right inside my cover because this is a great thing to give um, uh, some journaling to give some information as to what this album is about. So. Someone sitting there going, I want to be on it too. I'm going to use them all up. Here. Use all three. So, anyway, so you're just using some simple 
Um, embellishments left over, potentially from other projects or that sort of thing. Um, this could so easily be done with a 6x6 pad. A 6x6 would put plenty in it. So fun, bright little album. Flat on the cover of the album itself. You can put a little bit more depth on the um, cover of the the wrapper itself. But a uh, cute, fun little project that doesn't take a lot of time. It would be fun, simple one that you could even do with kids. Um, but nice and easy. Yeah, the stash raid. <laughs> Those are always fun. So... Or, I guess I got the stick to pull it out with, but yeah. Quick and easy. Any questions does anybody have? I gotta be careful. I glued these down and then my it's shifting because it glue's not dry yet. <laughs> it's like, let that sit for a second. So fun times, and this one again is here, staying here on YouTube. I, I don't know how much people are liking having the full, full-blown two-hour-long live shows being over on YouTube or not, but um, because they are so long. All righty, guys. So fun, fun, fun. So for those who missed it, let me just show you real quick what we've got here with our um, In Suspense 2 album's going to come down in and set in the the um, suspended box. It's got, that's metal ribbon that I've been distressed. And then it's got, as I said, it's got the clock, the Gravity 45 clock um, die, a really delicate die. And then this is some of the the die that we've used in the past. These are this is with the steampunk papers. Um, I will also do a video showing the papers once they're all fully completed. But I did want to show you for those of you who weren't here when we first started um, the the In Suspense Two, which we will start on Friday. That's a steampunk version. We will be making the fairy version in class, and the fairy version um, very similar. It, the structure is exactly the same. It will have obviously um, different die cuts, different. Um, the metal is rather than being a grid mesh, it's a chicken wire mesh stuff. Um, has another fun thing that's going into the kits. I don't know if, if you guys have seen this, but um, Tim Holtz has these new fairy wings. So it'll have a few fairy wings that you can add. Um, so he's got these little acetate fairy, whoops. Acetate, I'm so used to holding it up. So little acetate fairy wings. So those will be a few of those in the kits. You don't need many of them, but so those will be in there for the fairy stuff. Um, I think I showed during the last class, it's got some vintage Lucite flowers in that as well. So, you know, steampunk embellishments for the um, steampunk one, metal and stuff, and then f more flowers and fairy stuff, moss, things like that, um, in the fairy version. And you'll be able, from the live class, for those of you who, who have some questions, you'll be able, um, from the, the live class, either version, it will show you how to do that. So. Yes, Jane, I need to get back to you on that. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I just, it's just a matter of switching it out. So I haven't, I haven't started shipping yet since I'm still finishing the sample. Um, so it, I don't anticipate a problem. And I just had to look, um, look into, um, I still need to look at whether in terms of the papers, if you had purchased your papers yet or not. So. Yeah, the die, the, this is a brand, this one's pretty new. This one's just come out within the last year. So I haven't offered those before. Um, but this one, 
Um, we used way back on the, the um, transportation series. This was a, a die from 2013. You could use, there's plenty of punches. There's other dies that you could use as well. This just happens to be one that I know a lot of you purchased from me. So using it again is, I, you know, I don't like for you to always have to go out and get new um, stuff. But um, this one is, they've just introduced these, so. Oh, we used it for the Voodoo Dollhouse. Yeah, it's called a Petite Monarch. Um, and it was a Spellbinder's dot. Whether or not it's still available, I am not sure. But if it is, I, I can see if people want it, I can get a hold of it. Um, during the, the show, I will obviously show some possible options that are available. Um, and some punch options. But yeah, we used it on the Voodoo Dollhouse. We used it on the Transportation Series. Because I can see it from here, the one that had the train. I know we used it on that, and I think I've used that on a couple of other things because we had it available. So, I'm looking around to see if I see anything else. See, I don't have the Voodoo Dollhouse anymore because we, uh, I burned that. <laughs> Trying to get rid of the bad juju that we were having, so. All righty. So, does anybody have any other questions? As I said, I will try to get the dies up. Um, today um, and if you're interested in that um, so that I can get those ordered so that I can get those so that I can start doing some shipping next week um, so I need to get those ordered papers the the um, shabby Victorian not the shabby steampunk something to do with time in the name um, those will be up hopefully later today um, and then I'll have the fairy ones up obviously before Friday and the pattern should be up before Friday um, lastly through Sunday all of my patterns and video tutorials are 30% off if there's any that you've been looking for um, those are 30% off and all of my um, digital papers are 15% off through um, Sunday now the the new pattern for this project which will go up before Friday uh, unfortunately won't be included under um, um, the sale price um, I typically anything that's released during a sale I don't have it included in the sale though I will make the exception and let the papers be um, for those who want to get it a la carte mainly because I typically put them when I first put them up I put them on a sale price so it's no different than if I were to put it up separately I usually give you a discount on them in the very beginning so all right, um, if there's any questions, please feel free to give me an email. I'm trying to, to get, keep up with my emails as best I can every once in a while. If I get it while I'm out and then I have to look something up, it may take me a day or two, but um, I'm trying to keep up with them. I have had a couple people email me about getting their, their um, past orders attached, and I'm working on those. So, um, But any other questions, feel free to give me a call. Um, Steampunk kits are, shippable kits are available with all the goodies in them, and um, the fairy kits are available as well. So, um, anyway, alrighty guys, if there's no other questions, I'm going to let you guys go for a few minutes, getting done a few minutes early, um, but that's all I got. <laughs> So thank you, as always, to Lois and to Joy for taking time out of their day to help me out. And also thanks to all of you for taking time out of your day as well to join me here in my studio. We will be back on Friday at 5 o'clock. I am loving having the Friday night classes again. It works really well for me um, right now. And we'll see how that goes until fall. And uh, then we'll, we'll see. And we may switch it back to Sundays um, in the fall. So... Alrighty, guys. We'll see you uh, on Friday. So peace out. Have a great week. Love you bunches. Bye for now.